Morning, uh, Matilda and I are here at the Municipal Square in Cala Estorinha, Portugal and we're ready to start uh, leg two of the Tour de Portugal. No big departure video this time as it's the same as leg one. Uh, so it's just vamos a Moreira. See you on the road. Bye. It was another pre-dawn departure to kick off the second leg of our Tour de Portugal bike touring adventure. The moment Matilda's chainring began to turn, I felt completely at home, as if this was where I'd always belonged, on the road. However, this time around, I was especially looking forward to the ride, as I'd be joined by my longtime friend Pedro, and it would be the first time that I've toured with anyone. that there'd be a lot of shit talking to come but before the fun could begin Matilda and I had the first hour all to ourselves as we rode in silence to Amoreira where we'd be meeting up with our new bike touring buddy. Hey Pedro, okay. you ready? I'm ready. Really? I think so. Okay. You got a little... <laughs> I like that, okay. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> you got a baby in there or what? It's, it's for the box paper. <laughs> <laughs> there are a hundred rolls of box paper. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well let's get going. We left behind Pedro's tribe of six to continue with their breakfast as we headed out towards Ericeira with the morning sun already blazing away in the sky. There was such an air of brightness and playfulness as we began pedalling in unison to celebrate the commencement of our shared journey. And it didn't take long for the banter to fly. Ah, oh, fuck you videoing now, really? <laughs> Should say the same thing. <laughs> what <laughs> you were going to say. Alright, look, I got nothing. I got nothing. <laughs> Just video the road or something. Oh, it's pretty. There it is. Morning ride uh, with Yuri Manninen. I'm, I'm, I'm screwed. I'm, I'm stuffed already. <laughs> How far are we gonna so go today? Three, what, 80k. We've, we've done like 3k now. When's the coffee break? <laughs> the second hobbit. Another five breakfast. minutes. <clears throat> you had the second breakfast already. Look at this.
It felt quite cathartic to ride over the familiar roads that I'd previously run over many times in the past as we threaded our way to the southern edge of our shire through the numerous small villages and valleys. What a great warm-up it was in preparation for a second breakfast of palkong chorizo and milfolias. Well, truth be told, while it was the second for Pedro, it was actually my third. But isn't that something we adventurers are allowed to partake in? As the day heated up, so did our pace, although at times it dropped sharply as we were greeted with a series of fairly short but quite sharp climbs. Still, with effort comes reward. A nice long downhill took us to our first encounter with the magnificent Atlantic at Porto Novo. How great it was to feel the cooling ocean breeze while sharing a well-earned lunch break by the beach on such a gloriously beautiful day. After lunch, we spent the afternoon pretty much trekking our way down the coastline towards Ericeira, one of the most popular surf meccas in Europe. Our route took us through some other popular tourist beachside locations, such as Santa Cruz and Ribamar. While Matilda was head down and bum up, spinning silently in her zone, Pedro and I continued on with our often logically nonsensical, yet always emotionally satisfying conversations about life, the universe and everything.
time in kilometres passed in what seemed an instant as we rolled into our day one destination at Camping Eriseira. Once we'd set up our base for the night, there was still plenty of time to take a relaxing walk along the shoreline and to explore the town a little as the sun gradually settled beyond the horizon. It's hard to describe how grateful I felt as the light faded to not have a desire for anything more than just to be able to enjoy this moment with my friend.